hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous video we just discussed uh, about uh, some basic introductory concepts related to power electronics where we discussed the what what power electronics uh, basically is the basic definition the uh, block diagram representation of a power electronic system and uh, the various uh, aspects, various point of views of the study of the subject of power electronics, the applications, and the advantages. So in this video, we are again going to discuss in a very uh, quick and short way uh, about the basic power semiconductor devices and uh, the converters, okay, power electronic converters. So before doing that, we'll just have a quick uh, recap of what uh, the power electronics subject essentially is. So as we have already discussed, it is the meeting point of uh, three specialization areas, electronics engineering, power systems engineering and control system engineering. So basically power electronics is the utilization or use of semiconductor devices, electronic devices to supply electrical power at the desired level for various applications so the electronics part it handles the various semiconductor devices which form the core of the power electronic circuit then we have the control systems which employs a closed loop feedback system to ensure whether the power is supplied at the desired level or not and the whole power involvement it uh, brings the power systems into play so these three things when combined together we get the subject of power electronics so this is uh, the block diagram of uh, power electronic system which we have already discussed so power semiconductor devices now there are a lot of uh, semiconductor devices uh, which we will discuss in the subject of power electronics but if we want to classify them you know uh, divide them into specific categories we can do so on the basis of uh, the turn on and turn off characteristics now we have already discussed in the previous video that power electronic system it basically involves switching the power flow okay turning on and off the circuitry so that the semiconductor devices that are employed in it they essentially behave as power semiconductor switches switching on and switching off so based on the turn on and turn off characteristics of the devices we can divide them then uh, the application of gate signal so all the devices semiconductor devices they will have different terminals anode cathode gate so gate signal is essentially a control signal okay which is used to either turn on or turn off the device so depending on the application or requirement of the application of gate signal we can divide them and on the basis of controllability how well we can control the switching characteristics so all these things can be used to classify the power semiconductor devices in various categories so we can broadly classify uh, the semiconductor devices used in power electronics as power diodes thyristors and power transistors now diodes and transistors these two names you have heard in the analog electronics part so when these devices are uh, modified in their constructional features so that they are suitable for handling large amount of power they become power diodes and power transistors so suitable modifications are made in their constructional features in the fabrication of the diodes that makes them 
uh, suitable for high power applications so power diodes they're basically uh, uncontrolled rectifying devices and you know rectification conversion of ac to dc which i already discuss, uh, discussed about uh, half wave and full wave rectifier so the turn on and turn off states are dependent on the power supply you know uh, diodes they conduct current in one direction unidirec uh, unidirectional device and depending on the forward and reverse reverse bias uh, characteristics they operate so power diodes the basic difference is that they are able to handle large amounts of power which makes them separate from the normal pn junction signal diodes the thyristors they have a controlled turn on gate signal so here the application of gate signal comes into play and after it is turned on the device remains in that state and the gate loses its controllability so it is turned off by the power circuit so all these things the gate signal controllability all are coming into play and similarly power transistors they are also turned on and turned off by the application of control signals and are used as switching elements so all these devices power semiconductor devices they are the, the basic principle is the same as that which we have discussed in analog electronics only certain modifications are done in their uh, constructional aspects that makes them separate and suitable for high power applications so we'll discuss the construction of uh, the power diodes thyristors and tran power transistors in separate videos but for now you understand what these uh, devices are so the examples of power semiconductor devices in power diodes we have different types of power diodes such as general purpose diodes fast recovery diodes schottky diodes we'll discuss them in detail in the separate videos then thyristors the examples of thyristors are silicon controlled rectifier gate turn off thyristor light activated silicon controlled rectifier and so on similarly power transistors they are bipolar junction transistors uh, bjt metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor mosfet uh, insulated gate bipolar transistor igbt and static induction transistor sit so these are some of the examples of power semiconductor devices next another important aspect of power electronics which is power electronic converters now we all know that power electronics basically is the main objective is to supply electrical power in variety of forms which are uh, dependent on the load requirements now various devices various uh, electrical or electronic equipments they require uh, voltage and current in, in a variety of specifications ac dc suitable uh, frequency suitable voltage levels current levels which are specified by the ratings the specifications so depending on that different types of uh, electronic converters have to be used which provide electrical power as per the specifications of these devices in some cases these electronic converters are inbuilt in that device and sometimes they are used separately okay so the power electronic converter uh, it basically uh, converts or shapes the electrical power from one form to another so here the frequency the amplitude the direction of the voltage or current those aspects are uh, modified so it all depends on what is the requirement of the load what type of electrical or electronic equipment it is being used depending on that uh, the frequency the direction whether it is ac or dc what is the amp the magnitude of the voltage or current which is required whether it should be in ac form or dc form whether it should be fixed or variable so all those aspects are taken care of so the power electronic system it consists of one or more power electronic converters so some basic 
power electronic converters they are the diode rectifiers which we have already discussed the basic conversion of ac to fixed dc voltage half wave rectifier full wave rectifier then full wave it is also bridge type or center tapped full wave rectifier so all the, all that we have discussed in the analog electronic section but also we'll discuss it in detail in power electronics taking into uh, consideration the power aspect high power aspect then we have phase controlled rectifiers which convert ac to variable dc voltage where the magnitude keeps changing where the direction is constant then chopper circuits which convert fixed dc or fixed magnitude dc to variable magnitude dc voltage then we have inverter which converts fixed dc to variable frequency or variable magnitude ac so in case of variable frequency the magnitude keeps uh, the frequency changes and the magnitude stays same in variable magnitude the frequency stays uh, same but the magnitude it keeps changing so we have already discussed about the various uh, basic concepts related to dc and ac in uh, the circuit theory or network theory uh, discussions and also in the analog electronics uh, all the discussions related to that so you can check out uh, those introductory videos uh, in network theory and uh, analog electronics where i have discussed the basic concepts related to electrical circuits so these are the basic power electronic converters and then there are other converters also uh, where the cyclo converters where the input power at uh, one frequency it is converted to a different frequency depending on the requirement so basically it is uh, ac to ac conversion where the frequency is changed then we have ac voltage regulators where fixed magnitude uh, ac voltage is converted to variable magnitude ac voltage at the same frequency where the magnitude is altered depending on the requirement but it is ac alternating in nature so the frequency stays same so these are some of the basic power electronic converters which are used in power electronic circuits so each device here each component each element whether it is power semiconductor devices or the power electronic converters which employ the power semiconductor devices these devices it can be diodes it can be thyristors it can be transistors it can be their combination along with other equipments other circuit components so the main objective is to modify the electrical power as we have discussed here modification of the electrical power from one form to another form so the basic thing that we are modifying is it can be the magnitude the amplitude it can be the direction which brings ac and dc into play or it can be the frequency in case of ac so these are some of the uh, basic concepts related to power electronic circuits uh, the power semiconductor devices and the power electronic converters okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much